testing, testing, testing. Are we on? Are we on? What's up, guys? It's Matt here. Today I'm going to teach you a song that I wrote there a ways back, but it's an upbeat song, and on a 75-degree weather day in North Carolina in January, I thought it would be perfect. It gives you three strumming patterns. That's what's cool about this song. So it's a little more advanced if you're just a beginner, but you can get it. And um, listen to the lyrics. I'll first play through it, and then I'll teach you the three different strumming patterns that you use to play the song. People walking around in this life with no reason to live. Tell me whatever happened to the joy that you came to give. He gives us so many reasons just to keep a smile on our face. And the very best one is the cross where we took my place. We gotta let our light shine. song comes from Matthew 5 16 we'll go over that in a second but uh, three parts to the strumming the whole song is G C D C and repeat it I have the capo on the second fret the first part's a little tricky you're gonna do it with no pick I do a, a pinch like the top string and the um, second pinch and then take my finger up and strum like the middle strings and then stop the strings. So it's now again, when you're playing like I said the G chord, every one of these notes make up the G chord, the C chord, same way. So as long as you're, don't focus as much on which strings you're, you're, you're strumming, as long as you're getting that top bass string. People walking around in this life with no reason to live. Tell me whatever happened to the joy that you came to give. He gives us so many reasons just to keep a smile on our face. And the very best one is the cross where he took my place. That's the first part. The second, so it's a little more advanced that one. The second strumming you're going down up and then mute and down up so it's so it's kind of like a smack I call this the smack strum original huh? so in the G chord you're going down up smack up and then mute down up then switch so down up G down up so you want to keep that same rhythm like practice if you don't even want to press the keys. 
That's the rhythm you're doing, but you're muting on the second, your second down up each time. Gotta let your light shine. It's like the smack strum. And the last one, I go over in a few other videos, it's that palm mute. You're taking the outside of your hand here to mute the strings, and you're kind of just doing a chop up and down as you switch. Let your light shine, let your light shine, let it shine. Oh, let your light shine, let it shine, let it shine. strumming patterns to work on. The, the pick, that's like a, a pinch and a smack. I, in, the, in the song God of This City, type in Matt McCoy, God of This City, I do the same strumming. Get a little more advanced, so if you're starting out, don't get frustrated, but if you've done some other videos, maybe you can get that. The second strum is the actual smack. So there's the smack, then the last one is the palm mute. Let your light shine, let your light shine, let it shine. These are great to learn all these different strumming patterns because if you're ever writing a song, you could um, integrate them into your song. So this song comes, let me tell you how I wrote this song. I saw some statistic, and this was the U.S., something like 80% or 85% people are Christians or call themselves Christians. And I thought about that, I said... Really, God? Really? 85%? I look around and everybody's so defeated and so down. And I'm thinking, we call ourselves the light of the world. Matthew 5 says we are the light of the salt of the earth, the light of the world, a city set high up on a hill. And it says, who, who has a light and covers it? You don't do that. You want your light to shine so that all can see it. This the Bible says this world is darkness, but we are to be the light in the darkness. So if you want to know as a Christian what's your purpose, um, you're trying to figure it out, I'll, I'll be real simple for you. I'll tell you what Jesus said in Matthew 5. You are to be the salt of the earth, a city on a hill, and the light of the world. And I love Matthew 5, 16. says, let your light so shine before men that other people are going to see your good works and glorify God. So we're not doing this for our own praise. We're doing it for people to say, oh, look how good Matt is or he is or she is. Walk around with a smile on your face and a little more zest for life so the other people look and say, man, what does he have? What does she have? And, you, and, and then, the, then eventually they'll ask you and you say, I'll tell you what I have. I've got the joy of the Lord in my heart. Christ came and died. My favorite verse, John 10, 10. Christ came that we have life and have it more abundantly. So we know what's going to happen when this life is over. We know what's going to happen during this lifetime. There might be some setbacks, some things that we don't plan but we know God's in control. Uh, Romans says all good things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So you've got to be that salt of the earth, that, that city on a hill that everybody's looking at. So if we walk around just every day, just, hey, hey, if you're checking out at a restaurant, you're um, doing something, you're at a workout, and you just, how you doing? Good, how are you? All right, good seeing you. Just this defeated down and out attitude how are people going to look at us any different? Come on, my call this day is for you to live a life that is a light. It's the salt, 
There's nothing like salt. It's different. That's what we got to be as Christians. We've got to be energetic, upbeat, and the happiest, most full of joy and peace and hope people than anybody else in this world. And that's how we're going to win people to Christ. Hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe if you haven't. And God bless you.